Oh, well, I think that writing is a compulsion. Uh, I had a very good mother and father because uh, my father was quite smart. And my point in saying that is all the other, my, if my mother and father hadn't supported me, I, when I say supported me, you know, uh, because if my, if my, everybody said I had my father's brains, whatever that means. And so because my father was a businessman, my, the family was very disappointed. I never will forget an aunt of mine said to me, I was quite grown. She said to me, the one thing I will never forgive your mother for was because she let you be a writer. Because she meant she let me be a poor writer. When I, if I had been a businesswoman, I could have been, because I remember the, the, the biggest quarrel my mother and father, not the biggest quarrel, I remember this quarrel very well, because I remember my mother and father, their mouths fell open. I had never seen mouths fall open before. My, they had decided that I was smart. And my father said I was going to be a little businesswoman. And my mother said, no, I was going to be a, a pianist, we said in those days. And then they argued back and forth. And my father said, she's my child. And my mother said, she's my child. And I never forget, I was five years old, and I looked at my father, and I said, I don't belong to you. And I looked at my mother, I said, I don't belong to you. I belong to myself. And I remember they stared at each other, and their jaws dropped. And I'll never forget that, because I couldn't understand what had happened to their mouths. I'd never seen that happen before. What's wrong with them? You know what I think? If you want to write, you have to write. And, and I, you, you know when I'm the happiest? When I'm writing, when I do something good. I get up and I walk a, a, across the floor and I'm very happy and sometimes my eyes fill with tears. I feel so good. So I always wrote. I guess I wrote my first story when I was seven years old. My father was proud of it and carried around and lost it. I was about 14 years old. I remember this very well. I, I, knew, I, I knew the word genius. I knew the word. And I was about 14 years old and I was, I was always I talked to God all the time. I was kind of smart in school, so my mother knew that I wasn't saying, but some mornings I wouldn't go to school, and she would ask me why. I said, God said I didn't have to go to school. And she would look at me. I, she was afraid to ask me, I think, too much. She wants to, I know she yearned to know what God looked like. But she, <laughs> she never had the, and she said, Dorothy, are you sure? And I said, yes. And she, she let me stay home, because she didn't know, what, can, what do you say when somebody brings God into a conversation? What can you say, what can you say? All right, honey. When I was 10 years old, and I asked my mother if I could lock my door. And she said to me, why do you want to lock your door? Because I want to write stories. I was afraid somebody would come in and talk to me. And when they talk to you, then of course it's hard for you to write because you've forgotten. Because this has really happened to me one day. I was working on this book, and all of a sudden, I got so far into their world that I did not know where I was. So I said to myself, now be calm, take it easy, take it easy. And I put on my coat, and I started to walk downtown. And I really prayed that nobody would talk to me. And then I got down, you know where the boat comes in? Then I, I snapped out of it. But I was so far into that other world that I, I was afraid that I would never come back to the real world. Well, I, this I will remember forever. I was in Russia, in Moscow. And I remember, I mean, I can remember what I wrote. It is September 1st on the island. The white nights will soon begin. Now that was maybe June, when the night is really white. The, the night is like dawn. I, I wrote about the island because the last line was, what is this compared to that? Nothing, nothing. But so that there was something about this island. I guess it was made for me. I think when I said that, I think it was the piece I wanted.